Welcome back. For the final part of the series, let us learn how to use Redux Toolkit with React as the UI library. In this video, we are pretty much going to focus only on the project setup. We will start learning about the React Redux library from the next video. Let's begin. Our first step is to create a new React project. Now you could do that using create React app, but if you have seen my React stack for 2022 video, I mentioned that I would be using Wheat. I highly recommend you give this a try. Back in VS Code, in the parent folder, run the command npm create wheat at latest followed by the application name. Let's call this react hyphen Redux Toolkit hyphen demo. When prompted, select React as the template. We don't need TypeScript for this example. Once the command completes, you should have a brand new React project created. Navigate inside the project folder and run npm install or yarn to install the dependencies. That is our first step. For our second step, we're going to bring in all the files from our Redux Toolkit demo folder into the React project. Open File Explorer, navigate inside Redux Toolkit demo, copy both app and features folders, navigate into the React project folder, Navigate inside the source folder and paste them. Now these files reference Redux Toolkit and Axios libraries, so let's install them. In the terminal, within React Redux Toolkit demo folder, run the command npm install axios and at redux.js slash Toolkit. When the command completes, you should see them listed as dependencies. Now as part of this step, we are also going to change our imports and exports to ES module syntax. In every slice, At the top, import create slice from Redux Toolkit. Import create slice and import create slice. In user slice though, create async thunk will also be imported from Redux Toolkit. Axios will be import Axios from Axios. Next, change all the default exports. So in cake slice, export default cake slice dot reducer. In ice cream slice, export default ice cream slice dot reducer. And in user slice, export default user slice dot reducer. For the named exports, we're going to destructure the actions and then export them. So export const curly braces ordered and restocked from cake slice dot actions. Similarly, in ice cream slice, export const ordered and restocked from ice cream slice dot actions and in user slice you can remove the named export and directly add the export keyword on line 11 export const fetch users next in ice cream slice make sure to also update the import statement for cake actions dot ordered 
import ordered as cake ordered from dot dot slash cake slash cake slice and use the same for add case cake ordered lastly update the statements in store.js as well so first import configure store from redux toolkit and then the import statement for the reducers as well import cake reducer ice cream reducer and user reducer from the corresponding slices and of course let's also update the default export at the bottom export default store now those were quite some changes but it was all just javascript and nothing to do with react or redux all right for our third and final step we're going to add the views for each of the three features. In the cake folder, create a new file called cakeview.jsx. So one difference from create react app is that your react component files must have a JSX extension as opposed to the JS extension. You can change that behavior with additional configuration but I would recommend you stick to .jsx and keep this simple. Within the file, I'm going to use the React Snippets extension and scaffold a new component, RAFC. And for the JSX, I'm going to add three elements. An h2 tag that says number of cakes, a button that says order cake, and another button that says restock cakes. Our goal in the upcoming videos is to connect these three elements to the Redux store. On similar lines, in the ice cream feature folder, create a new file called ice cream view.jsx. Copy paste the component from cake view and replace cake with ice cream. So ice cream view, this is going to be number of ice creams, order ice cream, and restock ice creams. Next, in the user feature folder, create user view.jsx. Scaffold a new React component, RAFC, and add one h2 tag that says list of users. Include all the three components in app.jsx Replace the header with cake view, ice cream view, and user view. If we now run the command npm run dev. Navigate to localhost 3000 in the browser. You should see the views corresponding to each feature. We are now ready to connect with Redux Toolkit. Let's see how to do that in the next video.